Today we're going to create a three-dimensional looking name. So we're going to be using those rules of perspective, just like we've been talking about, but instead of connecting boxes to create buildings or floating boxes, we're going to be connecting some bubble letters to make it appear that our name is going back into space. So your teacher will give you um, a font handout with a couple different types of block letter fonts, okay? Use it as an example if you'd like, or if you would like to come up with your own bubble letters, that is totally acceptable as well, okay? I personally like this one because I like how um, wide the letters are. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side as a reference. Okay, so first we're going to take our drawing paper and we're going to decide where we would like our vanishing point to go. Our vanishing point will um, be where all of our lines um, travel to disappear to. Those will be known as our receding lines, okay? So you can have your vanishing point down here in the middle. Um, you could have it up here at the top if you'd like. You could even have it over here in the corner to make it look like your name is kind of shooting across the page, which is a really cool effect as well. Now, if you're not super great at making bubble letters just freehand, Okay, here's a way that you can um, create some successful letters. So I like to recommend writing out your name. You can do all capitals, you could do capitals and lowercase, whatever you want. Okay, but you can start by just kind of writing out your name, making sure that you've got some space between those letters. Then we can come back in and you can just bubble around them. And this is a really good way to start getting um, good at making bubble letters. So you would just go around and bubble around all of that and then you can go back in and you would erase the center line which would just leave you with that outline. Now if you're using this technique Please make sure that you are pressing lightly with your pencil so that you can get rid of that letter or that line in the middle. Okay? So whether you want to freehand your letters, whether you want to um, draw your letters out and then trace around, that's completely up to you. Okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and start by drawing our name on our paper. I think I'm going to have my vanishing point um, just down here in the center. So I'm going to... Um, try to find kind of the middle of my paper I'm going to create a small dot please don't make it too large because we do want this um, to not be you know the focus of our artwork so make sure that it's nice and small if you'd like to draw your letters on kind of like a curve you can do that or if you would like to draw them just straight across you can do that as well all right so let me sketch out my name Okay, once you have your name written out, now we need to decide which areas will be going to our vanishing point. So just like we did in our practice drawing with the boxes, we need to have the closest points going to the vanishing point. With letters, it is a little more tricky because we have more points to actually connect, okay? So for my M, I'm going to line my ruler up with these corners and the point, and I'm going to draw my line all the way to my vanishing point, okay? Next, I'm going to move over to this next corner. And my biggest word of advice is to just lay your ruler down and see if it needs to connect to the point or not, okay? Now, if I line the or this, this point of my M up with my vanishing point, I can see that the entire thing would travel behind the M. And since I'm going to be coloring this in, I'm not even going to mess with connecting that there. I am, however, going to connect the inside of my M, but I'm going to stop it here because it goes behind this side of my letter. So I'm going to stop that line there, then I'm going to move down here to the next point, connect, move over here to that bottom corner, 
connect. Then I'm going to come up here to the top of my M. Now the top is going to run into my letter R. So I'm only going to bring it down that far that I'm going to stop. Okay, already you can kind of get that three dimensional feel there. Okay, next I'm going to move over to my letter R. Line the bottom up, draw my line, move over to my next corner. Draw the line down. Um, I'm not going to worry about this inside curve. I'm just going to move over to that next corner. And again, it's going to be running into my letter S, so I'm going to stop it right there at that point, okay? And then I'm going to move over here to the outside corner of my R and draw my line stopping at the S, okay? Now, curves are slightly different, okay? You want to connect the outermost edge of that curve. So since since the corner of my S is up here and would go kind of behind that curve there, I'm going to scooch my ruler down until I get to the outermost point of that little curve there. And then that's what I will connect to my vanishing point. When you're finished, use a Sharpie to trace over all of your pencil lines. If you're tracing those descending lines going back to the vanishing point, be sure to use a ruler. Use crayon to color when you're all finished. <laughs> 